um, went to the yearling sales running off um, great success. We ran 11th in the Sydney Premiership in, in the top 20 in the state and we thought we'd go out on a limb and purchase a horse and um, we spent about 150000 on Shelby 66 at the classic sales. He was an absolute standout and um, a great walker and, and uh, we went out on the limb and with no money uh, and, and spent 150000 uh, and we're very thank thankful for, for people like Inglis that have uh, given us the credit. It's been a hard, long road to, uh, to getting here, but uh, that's how we came about getting him. Look, we, we purchased the horse, we educated him, and once we started to get the horse up to a bit of fast work, he continually went lame. Uh, immediately after he'd pull up, by the time we got back to the stables, the horse was, was sound. We had vets look at the horse and they couldn't identify anything. We had a scintigraphy done and it highlighted that the horse had osteocondyle disease and that we were advised to give the horse plenty of time and whatever we, we did with the horse in his early stages of his career was going to be his best and that long term the horse wouldn't have a long, you know, um, a long sort of future in, in racing so to, to, to be where he is today is just incredible. He sure is, I, I, I mean every horse that shows good ability uh, it grows on you of course but I think just we've always um, been very close to our horses and, and, and he's one of them. We've had him uh, since we broke the horse in and and it's, it's been a, a ride. We've, we've um, come along with his journey. It's been a hard journey getting here and to see what the horse has done in the last two or three weeks is just incredible and it just, uh, it's just blown us away. Uh, we, we didn't go to the races expecting anything. We entered the horse believing that we were going to pick prize money up and a good uh, chance that we were going to pick up fourth position. There were only four runners that day and to see the horse trucking behind Nature Strip and Eduardo coming to the home turn, I knew the horse was going to be in the finish and I, I just couldn't believe what I was actually looking at. And then the last 200, it just blew me away. And to see the horse go so close to winning, it's indescribable. I, 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 I couldn't believe it. He's a horse that uh, we don't do much in between his races and when we space his runs he gets a bit too fat so um, we've worked out that he enjoys racing each week and he enjoys the swim he enjoys going off of, off the pony in the paddock and that's about as much as we really do with him and he's just a very happy horse at the moment he's absolutely thriving on it so why not it would mean everything uh, to win a group one race growing up as a kid sitting behind the bookmaker, listening to the races on the radio and to have such support behind us throughout my career as a kid growing up, it's, it'll be everything, it, it, indescribable. For me, it, it's the ultimate.